the first stop of Season 7's Party Poker Big Game and we're in Barcelona as our table heads into its final hours. In previous seasons, as we've headed into the later stages of the big game, we've seen David Viffer Pete's complete 48 hours straight to take the mantle of the biggest winner. We've seen Tony G ride into Nottingham and take off with the lot. I am the greatest to get all the money in like this. Who can do this in the whole world? And famously, last season, the biggest winner, Phil Lott, crumbled as he lost his mind and mucked the winning hand in a 60K pot. Wait, did Phil muck his hand? What? 60,000 euro mistake. So who will walk away the biggest winner here in Barcelona and who will lose it all as the game comes to a close? Biggest winner in the big game so far, Sergio Edo, 20,000 ahead. He's still at the table. Ima Derwish left 12,000 to the good. Concepcion, 9,000 ahead. Yuha Helpy, 6,500 winner. And Scott Baumstein quit with a 5,000 profit. Nicholas Asta is still at the table and ahead a few K. On the minus side, Toby Lewis blew 20K and left. Alec Torelli losing 18,000 right now. Max Pescatori lost 12K. Raul Mestre minus 8,000. And Tony G's only got a few hours left to dig out of a 4K hole. I've grabbed Tony as he stepped off the table for a short break. Give us a rundown on how the big game has been for you so far. It's been really tough. I've never had like a TV cash game this tough somehow. I've never had good cards. And I just had a few good hands now where I had queens and kings and uh, I kind of uh, got out flopped on one of them and um, probably didn't get enough value with the next one. So I feel pretty, pretty disappointed. I just haven't had any cards, haven't had anything happening and it's just normal. The game's a bit low, the stakes are a bit low, so I'm struggling as well. I'm not, I can't really put pressure on players with money, so it's, it's, it's difficult for me. But I look, I'm battling, I'm, I'm fighting and... Uh, yeah, I made one lucky lay down, which is uh, which, which ended up being good. Uh, Are you going to try and maybe push to I don't know bigger straddles or kind of get the stakes a little higher? Yeah, I'm going to try to push, but I mean I've been pushing a lot. We've we've had you know I've had a run in with with Toby. I've had a, you know we've had a lot of uh, unfortunately a lot of uh, controversy you could call it, uh, and you know, I've been probably have crossed the, the boundary there, but. It's me, it's the way I am. I get very emotional, I get very tense uh, when things, um, when players are out of line, in my opinion. And I just, I just, I'm very forceful on the table, but it's, you know, I enjoy I enjoy that. It's part of the game, it just stays on the table. It's, it's, it's not like a personal thing, but uh, I'm an animal out there. You are an animal out there. I know you're taking a break to kind of shake it off and rest up for the next session, so good luck. Thank you. Thank you. New player in the big game. We know him simply as Pedro. He's got 6,000 to sit down with a top up for Anjan. 10K more. Pedro, of course, taking Yuha Helpy seat where he got evicted. Can shake your confidence sometimes to be evicted by the audience, but these guys are big boys. They can handle it. I know Jaka pretty well, and he's been evicted twice in his apartment building in Chicago, so <laughs> he's used to it. He uh, he told me a story where he got evicted and then went downstairs to his buddy's uh, apartment for a couple of days, and that guy got evicted. So he wasn't having much luck in the eviction department. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, Matt, as a as a TV producer, sort of the, the whole reality show, John, where you must just be quite familiar with no, sort like of that whole thing, together. people getting voted on mm -hmm. by their the audience and their peers. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, I'm a scripted person. I'm not really in the reality world. And, uh, but, you know, obviously I've watched my share of reality shows over the years. Nothing uh, that I've become obsessed with. But, uh, you yeah, know, it's, it's a funny concept, knocking people out and just <laughs> voting <laughs> who's getting off the island or whatever it is or out of the game. Is um, Pedro the kind of guy, is he just going to pile this flop? He's just going to bet it really. Like, is he going to bet over the size of the flop? Is uh, he going to bet over a 1,000 here? He's going to bet pretty big. Just oh. like 2K just right now? Uh... Yeah. No, it's more. It's, it's piles. He's, he's, he's it's brilliant. I mean, Anjan's <laughs> going to get stuck in for stacking off here. <laughs> get stuck. How much did he bet? 1,200, I think. Brilliant. <laughs> he just overbets it. I mean, 
I think that 1450, 1.5 X5. I think that Anjan called thinking his sizing is so big that he's probably got like tens, jacks, queens type right. of so ten. Right, so he should flat here. He should never raise because it doesn't look like you're ever getting more yeah. of anything. And then, but right, he's not and he, if an ace had peeled on the flop, Pedro I think he would have tried to bluff has, him. Pedro only has 50 stacks started with 5,600. Like, yeah. he, what is he going to do in the turn when he misses? Now, uh, now Andre has to check hold. And now he's just going to go all in, I bet. I, I, yeah, I, I, mean, I believe you, Pedro. based on how this is going. Yeah. 2,000? Is that what he no, just did? It's like 4,000, right? Or does he have, does he have $500 box? I, I, think I, I couldn't even see what it was. Th those might have been 500s. 2,000. Oh, well, this is Anjan's problem, really, isn't it? He's got no implied odds. I don't know what Anjan's thinking. Ma maybe yeah, he should have thought about this he, before the flop. He definitely can't call here. No, it's 2,000. Yeah, it was 2,000. It was four 500 placards. Okay. Oh. So now he is thinking about those odds. It is. So the hand. It's, very, it's, it's strange for him to, like, Me? bet so big on the flop and, and then bet, re check. like, relative. I mean, you bet, like, a little over. You bet 1.5 times the pot on the flop and then, like, 60% of the pot on the yeah. turn. Oh, really? That's going to be an action killer. Why? I don't know. Well, not if you're Pedro. Yeah. <laughs> Pedro, now, he might bet $100 <laughs> now. No. Just induce. <laughs> That'd be the most brilliant bet yeah. I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. That's $50 on the river to induce. <laughs> no, just, just jams. I mean, as it turns out, like, Anjan kind of did a little bit of money there, didn't he? I mean, he wasn't ever in a great spot. Yeah, I would not have called 500 pre, no matter, against anyone with, out of position with Queen 6, even against a huge fish. I mean, it's just stand, not that deep. standard 10x open under the gun, right? 5x. 5x oh. under the gun, but the problem is he only had, you know, 55. Are they playing 50, 100 now? Yeah, it's 20, oh. 25, 50, 100. Oh, okay, gotcha. Actually, it's, 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 it's a true thing. Uh, you know, there was the Premier League in London a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And uh, all the players were staying in the middle of the town. Oh, the 70s is it. off. It's, yeah. it's off. Oh, never mind. He, Tony doesn't, Tony doesn't know, know it. He doesn't know Tony it's doesn't off. Know. Oh, this is brilliant. <laughs> this is going to be too funny. <laughs> He's going to win the hand. He's going to turn it over. Yeah, gonna... You are so right. This is just going to This is gonna explode. I kind of feel might, like they owe it to him. Yeah, they're going to owe it to him, no, I think, at the end of the day. They're not going to pay him. Yeah, because if they didn't tell him, and oh, and here he's back. There may be a compromise of half. Because by the same token, he gets an advantage of the hand because they're not thinking he's doing it with seven deuce because like that's not in the range. Yeah. I mean, like maybe they, they should buy out at fifty, but we'll see how this how this go, goes down. You know, I think with Tony's history, what you said about the Ace King with Helmuth and everything, I have a feeling that they're not oh, going to pay. Remember, remember the, Phil, the the bet yeah. between the Phil Lockham last year with that the reversal. I Alex think Rally. these guys are going to enjoy stiffing Tony G here. I think he's going to demand payment. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. This is exciting. Did Ado just flat here? The Ace King. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Okay. Oh, there's a deuce and a oh! seven. Oh, and he's not going to get any action on it, but well, he's going to flip, he's gonna flip it over, yeah. Because he wants to take it down here because the equity, the added yeah, equity yeah. in the end. This pot's not over. I mean, Edo has an up. Oh, it is over? All right. I'm going to yeah. get some money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Only he's not playing, right? Yeah, yeah, we have stuff. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he thinks they're joking. No. Yeah, what, uh, uh, he just took it. He's I like, know, oh, I, know, I, knew, I knew, I knew it. I just wanted to do it. <laughs> you told me. I uh, did. Uh, I wanted to do it. I thought uh, it was fun. You know. almost get it. I didn't want to. He's just having a flyer. What are we gonna pay? But he told me that no doing cool. That's that's a hundred. But he does admit it would have been yeah, unfair yeah, yeah. if they did yeah, tell yeah. him that. <laughs> he would have demanded it had had they not told him. I'm sure. What a great spot that was, though. Like free, uh, him roll. coming back while they while he was gone. They they don't do it. Oh, then he sits down, it. gets it, yeah. flops two pair. Hold, hold, hold. Yeah. I mean, I feel like they would they should owe it to him if, if that was the case. <laughs> yeah. You know, two kids. Race 400. You limp. Hold. Hold. Opens to 400. Hold. Just gets flatted with the ace queen. Tony G opts to play. 
come along uh, as well, Jack. Be soon. Tony's in position anyway. So, oh, look wow. at this. Tony's in more than that. position. This could, be, this could be a big pot here. With Augie stack, he could get this in. Special versus Tony. I mean, Tony's it's a pretty draw heavy board. Right. 25. Race, 2500. And Tony's fast playing this, so which is going to get Aki's the money. going to raise, the like, click it back, call off, or he's just going to rip. Do you ever flat here? Does he ever he's, think he's, he's mostly position, right? beat? Does he ever think he's mostly beat? Uh, not on this particular board. He probably doesn't think that most of the time. So he he just he's a yeah. position, right? Yeah. No, no, uh, uh, Tony's in position. Uh, Aki's in the big blind, I think, the smaller big blind, and Tony's... Uh, oh, from the blind, I probably, I probably raise if I'm out of position and flat if I'm in position most of the time. Because checking here is awkward. You don't want to get checked back when if, if your opponent is on a draw and then misses it and takes a free river. He could lead here. He could lead and deuce call off. Yeah, he might have been uh, wanting a safe okay. turn card. He's checking. He could lead here. Oh, this is a bit of a... Un <laughs> untraditional line, I'd say. I mean, it's just sort of this idea that Tony has had a lot of trouble getting action from his big, big hands. Five, five thousand. Five thousand. He needs to get all the money yeah. here. So he has a pot. It's a pot size bet right now. Yeah, and now Anjan still got over seventeen thousand in front of him. I don't see uh, Anjan on that turn. Uh, ever getting ready for it. I mean, he's he's gonna fold like maybe like an eight of diamonds, nine of diamonds, ten of diamonds. Uh, maybe he those senses kind of something here. He sure does. He yeah. really, really does. He he's not getting this in at all quickly. And this I, is I Tony's still, problem. I right, still think he's going to. It's the driest board in, in all history. How could you not get it all in here? Like I mean, he's calling there to kind of get that turn card to get it in. Yeah, but at the same time, he's also sort of if he's calling and seeing what Tony does on the turn because him calling is letting Tony know that he has a big hand, and if Tony's continuing, that's saying to Anjan that Tony has a really big hand here. He's probably thinking, what is Tony raising me on the flop with? Uh, you know, yeah. uh, no, I mean, he, uh, Agi doesn't have the ace of diamonds, so Tony can have ace of flush. He got it in. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I don't blame him at all. No, yeah. I'm, I think I'm always getting it in here. I mean, he's got some outs. I mean, everybody. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. sure. Seven, four, yeah. ace. Ace, yeah. <laughs> but this pot's huge. Over 40,000 euros. And we open cards. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And there are cards. That's no. not one of them. Probably was broken that river anyway, but I mean, even if it's He can't get, I don't think he can really reasonably get away from that. 26,000 euros huh? as Anjan Sekalarch lost. <laughs> it's probably a pretty small pot for me. I just get excited for the team. Not about the size of the pot. Yeah. The fact that you want to win. You know? Yeah, I want to win for the, for the show. Yeah. For the home viewer. The Party Poker Big Game continues here in Barcelona after the break. Deep into the night here at the Port Olympic and beneath the luxurious Hotel Arts, poker's most popular cash game is heading to a close. Egos have been bruised and pockets have been emptied in the first stop for season seven's big game. I made a crazy lay down, like, you know, just lucky. It's pure luck. What else can you put it down to? I can't put anything. I think it's just luck. Race 300. So you can also be lucky with good lay down, with lucky lay downs. Yeah, yeah, of course. And lucky would do seven and jack three. It's all luck. It's all different kind of luck. Oh, this is G educating the table. Lucky now. he called me because he didn't just call making me sure they all know that he folded like queens on, 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 on that ten high. Oh yeah, he's not, he's not gonna, he's not gonna let anyone forget yeah. that. I had kings, right? You had tens on hand. That's crazy. They're talking about it right now. That's lucky. Yeah. You shouldn't have laid it out. I'm unlucky. Because I if I had oh, now he's talking a about different kind of hand, tens, like I would have moved the same. I would have moved all in. Especially he's saying you he's telling Jockey he made a bad yeah. fold that usually Jockey's hand is good anyway. there. That's what he's <laughs> telling him. Because I play seven cut stud a lot, so I'm always thinking the ace is big. 
<laughs> Sometimes I think Tony says stuff like this really guy, crazy just to see if anyone's hands actually hands listening. You're the, yeah. <laughs> you're the best. Check. The best hands. Oh, this is my kind of flop. Very dangerous. <laughs> uh, nine, ten. <laughs> <laughs> Might have qualified. Have a good look at that board. I knew he was going to go after Pedro. Do you think Pedro go continues here? No. Yeah. Oh, I do. No. No. I think he's going to fold. I got a feeling he's going to let it go. <laughs> it's actually weird. He's, he's, he's actually he's trying to level him. Calm. He's trying to talk <laughs> him into calling here, actually, with no hand. There is that what's happening? Oh, he's gonna no, level. Tony's him. talking him into folding. Yeah. So Pedro's gonna fold. Uh, you, guys way way <laughs> you guys are way too smart. You guys are way too smart. Serviette. We've got some drama building for these last few hours. Sergio Edo still 18,000 ahead, but Tony G's on the move, winning 15K. Concepcion 8K ahead, and it goes no better for Alec Torelli. Jock has been on qu quite a bit of a roller coaster. Uh, now, too, has been in a big pot lately, though. He's now stuck a little bit, I'm sure. Yeah, He'd like to turn a profit here. I hadn't even thought about that. I mean, how much was Jock? He was ahead about fifteen thousand at one stage. Uh, I think wasn't he? maybe. I think he might have been ahead twenty at one point. I don't. You don't get a hit. I have to wait one more hand. One more. That card down. Yeah. Which is a lot when you buy in for ten. Like it's like three yeah. times starting set. Whoa. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. you you know Faraz quite well, Matt. Uh, yeah, does he have a tilt factor? No. No. Uh, no, I, yeah, like, among the, the of, yeah. of the tournament players that I of the, of the poker players that I know, he, he, he's one of the calmest, coolest yeah. kind of guys. Really calm, <laughs> really comfortable with swings, like expects them almost. Understands that there's variance, and he he's very uh, very impressive in that way. He's, he's very much the kind of guy who always preaches. You know, you just got to let these things just roll off of you. It's just you know, he's just like it doesn't mean anything. You know, no, just, just put, putting everything in perspective. Well, that, that, that's pure Zen Buddhism right there. Yeah. You must be an advanced student. I can tell so you what he said. I, I, I couldn't actually do it in practice. Hashtag's <laughs> <laughs> flop thing here. They want to know what I'm doing. That's why I said we should do it. I mean, who, who get on Twitch, say there's a massive hand coming up. Don't miss it. Get on Twitch now. Like, yeah, you just yeah, had a stupid, you know. Can you do it, please? Yeah, so just say it. We, we got to get some some sign ups from Tony Bet. <laughs> Tony Tony cracked the aces with the jack okay. three, so he's saying this has been the best hand of the whole game. That's what he's saying. Warned yeah. people. <laughs> and he's trying to plug Tony Bet at the same time. Yeah, he's great. He's Quite great. So this could get interesting now to see if Astet fires again. What do you think? Should he? Yeah. I mean. I would kind of barrel into Tony. He d kind of doesn't seem to be willing to call a lot of streets, but at the same time, he's just been kind of right a lot as well. Yeah, and I think he senses that if he's going to double barrel here, he probably hasn't got a flush draw. Wow. Like, it's a big call on the turn That's a G. really good call. Yeah. Oh, that's, and that, that's going to be an unexpected card, too, for Tony. It's not like a club game. It's just he, yeah. he hit his king. But, I mean, he, he should definitely be betting for value here with the king. And Tony might I, I think would, that I the would king bomb the river here if I were asked to. I, I would pretend like I missed my flush draw and, you know, bet near the pot. I think Tony might think he... He's gonna he's gonna fall, Tony, I think. I don't think he's gonna hero here. He's, he's done exactly what you suggested, Scott. He's bet nearly pot. He's been asked to make some tough decisions and he's passed the bar every time, has G. There's the touching of the face, so that probably means he's gonna fall, but... Trying to get another read on him. He let it go. He made a He's good done call. everything right. His yeah. record is just it's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and <laughs> it was exactly the same last year, if you remember that. He was he was putting in way too much money pre-flop and then making just all-star folds in the, in the, for for hours and hours and hours last year. <clears throat> Ankush Mondavia, Pistons 87 online. I'm so glad that you know who he <laughs> is. <laughs> I, I, know, I know English <laughs> very well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I'm actually not surprised he took it because while I was playing in the game, I literally heard his voice in the background across the casino. I'm like, well, maybe he's he played this game because we had open seats. I'm the one that's allowed not to wear the tie. You always have to wear your tie to work. And do up your button. I do up my button because I'm getting there. You got a belt on? No, I lost it. This is just... Meanwhile, You're Tony representing is me barreling everywhere you go. into People Warren Lush. Think me. They do. They even said the passport, I didn't have it. They showed your passport. And we both got in. <laughs> yeah. Go and get me a gin and tonic. No, do, be of some 100. use. I'm quite good at drinks. <laughs> you are, you're the best. The you're the best at that. I think that's what we're going to do at the end. I'm you. having a drink now anyway. It's uh, fat time. Have a drink, have, have a drink. Out. In the Tony Resort, you have unlimited drinks, anything you want. You drink but the whole bar. Don't you want an invitation to Tony Resort? Tony Resort for a mean. month. How could you not? Well, you'd go. I would for holiday. sure go. Yeah. I'll go anywhere with Tony G. I just, <laughs> Enter, entertainment factor 24-7. I think he made a, uh, a half-serious okay. open invitation to anyone at the I'm table kidding. earlier, but uh, oh, whatever yeah. that's worth. You're gonna have to, you got to follow up on the resort? invitation, Tony Resort. resort. Yeah. I mean, it's – although, as Warren said, the, the one bad thing is, is Tony has a key to every room, and he's prone to bursting in on you in the morning and <laughs> demanding you get out of bed. <laughs> I don't know. You kind of feel bad for Tony. He's, he's begging Pedro to call him every time, and Pedro won't do it. So it's me and you again? Just, uh, oh, he's got uh, he got some action here. I can't exactly re-raise you with this hand, Cut. but happy to give you 600 more. It's like finally happened. Torelli has phone finally phone three bet light against yeah. G with a Plus hand. He the does well, have I'm the not, button. If I'm always committed. Like, I'm not going to pretend that Ray is an He's talking a lot. It's hard to qualify after two cards, so you got to No wonder and, if And, and Tony just flatted with the Oh, wow. my goodness. Do you have the feeling that everything comes around and goes around I now? Shall. It's possible. You Let's know. see Tony get away from it this he time. Won't. He's not. This. <laughs> he might well, be able do to. Do something different. So he's led. Wait, so he's led Tony, yeah, yeah. Tony opened, got <laughs> three bet game. by Torelli pre-flop, and now leads the flop. Right. He's led into and the three And Torelli just calls. Just calls. Right. Which I think. I don't I think know. That's fine. Even with seven four, you're way ahead, way behind sometimes. Wow. <laughs> okay. 2,500. This, this could just be the end of it. Torelli's <laughs> like, he you know, tried not to wince when that card came down, but he can't help himself. It's funny, though. I, I, I actually think that Tony is so good post-flop that he might have been Cut. able, if Torelli had raised the flop, Tony may have let it go. And then now he got a great card. I mean, now he, he can run the risk of getting bluffed out, but... Uh, I mean, Torelli just called him oh. for 2,500 on and the turn. And if he called the turn, he's gonna, probably going to call the river. That's a pretty good river. That's a very good river card for, for Alex Hand. And actually, I mean, isn't it a little bit weird? Like, you know, what is Tony hoping to get called by? I mean, can't Torelli have the kings and the aces here and have played them the same way? It's a big bet he's made, right? Yeah, but you still have to. It's, it's one of those, if you're going to check call anyway, you might as well bet and get some value versus getting checked back on. If he's going to check and then call any reasonable bet, you might as well make the bet yourself so that some weaker hands will call you. What kind of spot is Torelli in here? Well, he has a bluff catcher is all he has. Yeah, that's all he has. I mean, Torelli has to fall. put, uh, you know, Tony on an <laughs> overpair, uh, obviously an overpair to the, to the seven, and which is pretty reasonable that he has fall. here. You can't call either. <laughs> that's the <that's> <laughs> I could be qualified. <sighs> it's possible to qualify on this board. At least I make it fun to play with, you know? Kind of just lashed out all the way. <laughs> Three barrel it. See if you got the half. Once he bets turn and gets called and gets that river, it's really hard spot to be bluffing in. It just, it just from Tony's position, it looks like he's getting called all the time by Trillian. I don't have quads. He's just so happy, Tony. <laughs> He's just Eight, so nine. happy. Didn't get it. Just frustrated, lashed out all the way. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> what do you do? 
out of the ten. Why is that ten? It's not there. It's just a bit small. Tony's doing it's what's called the reverse yeah. reverse right now. He's talking so much, and he's a, he's aware how strong his talk sounds. It's but he's trying to level Torelli into thinking because you know because I'm aware how strong it sounds. I'm trying to do it weak. And isn't this a great thing about? Poker. I mean, he's been playing. He's buried Terrell. He's I been play playing weird. Every hand, I want to play weirder than the next one. Because if you, if you don't know Tony, and this is just some random guy at a cash table, and like you know, like more of a fish, and he starts talking like this, it's the strongest. Like what he's giving right now is a very very stro strong conversation. But he's so sophisticated. He know Al. He, he knows Alec knows that, and it's just a. You know, this is this is a leveling war. What Tony's doing <laughs> right now with his, all with his speech, because it sounds so strong, and he is strong, but he's trying to he's trying to pretend like it's the opposite. I'm really confident of winning the hand. In fact, I want to bet Seems more if you way. want to bet on huh? it. I bet more. I bet 12,000. I bet 12,000. There you go. <laughs> really? If you want, we can bet more on the hand. It's up to you. Certainly not wanting to bet more. All right, let's put 6,000 in. <laughs> Offer him less, see what he says. He's like, you might be qualified, but I don't know how. I guess you just That's what I don't know either yeah, if I'm good enough or not. That's, what, I'm thinking. That's what I'm worried about. I might not be good enough. I'm, I like I have a good hand, but it might not be good enough for you. What's well, a price? Six thousand into fifteen. So well, six into nine, no. I think. So it's marginal this 15. hand. Oh, it's, it's like now merging. It's everything right, so that close. Includes the the six. I really don't know if I'm going to. Yeah, win but he's getting like two and a half to one on a call here. Correct. Yes. So you know, you only have to be right thirty percent of the time. We're wrong. It's probably pretty close to that. Yeah. It's just like one of these spots. It's marginal uh, that like. It, but it's just, once he gets uh, called on the turn and gets that river, it's just really hard for Tony to be bluffing here. I think right. Alex is going to fold. That's all right. Take, take, man, take your time. There's no pressure. Since he's not going to raise, it takes the pressure off me too. But if true, raising would be Alex does call, right Tony is officially just it's owning possible. him. possible. <laughs> I've done it before like that. Yeah. I've gone for that speech and then I'm like, no, I'll just go all in. It's pretty strong. He knows that Charlie's trying to get a read off him, so he's gone it's frozen. I don't, I don't I've never seen Tony do that before. If you win, I don't know. <laughs> He's getting so leveled right now, too. Yeah. Wow, he, he might actually call. He might actually call. He's tilt rally. Hmm. He wants to see it. He's folding. Oh, my God. I tell you, he called Phil Locke. He's oh, he there. let it go. Phil Locke when he had two aces on us when Phil Locke flopped the straight. Yeah. That was the that was the yeah. hand. I really like don't know if I was gonna win. Yeah, it was really deep. They they ah, Phil Locke had, yeah, he had two aces versus a, a flop straight for Phil Locke and they got like, in very deep. Big game last year in Vienna. Uh, G takes a big pot. He really doesn't know what he uh, what he avoided there. He was about to get crushed if that turn had come another card. I would have called it. Tony G taking over. <laughs> He's done it before. Can he do it again? And finish up the big winner in the big game. Welcome back. Our players are still battling it out for pots at the table for the big game. Let's get back down to the action. But I'm greedy. I'm a greedy guy. I always want more money. I want to yeah, take it. It's not the money. I just want to win, like, cause pain. It is amazing, though, how when people hear that Tony G might be coming to the big game, of course that just gets them coming. And yet he... But I don't think they're, they're coming because he's a fish. I think they're coming because right. he's an entertaining right. personality to have at the table. He also creates action, whether yeah. he's the action or not. Like, what he did to Toby Lewis today is a perfect example. Like Hopefully I'm getting he, a lot of accounts. I mean, I'm convinced that, that, to, that he made Toby lose his mind and make, and make him tomorrow. make irrational I plays I that he wouldn't have otherwise done. Too. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't see that, so I don't know. But, uh, I mean, it was pretty rough. I don't know if anybody could have handled the withering that Tony directed at him. It was pretty Kibasa, cruel, actually. We always offer the best and in the world. Toby's a tough guy. We can't sponsor the team, so we, prom we, we give the best odds. That's what we sponsor the players. We can't afford to pay 30 million euros a year, so we just sponsor the players. We're giving the best odds. That's all we do. Check. One. One thousand. Got to sneak that flash in. It is funny though, Matt. I mean, there's so many guys who. Uh, 
you know, talk about uh, what got this got them into poker, that got them into poker, whether it was Moneymaker, or Raymer, or Helmuth. But I think there's a lot of guys out there like you. It was Tony G. I don't like this seabed here from Tony with this his hand on this board. He, he literally has no pair, no draw, no backdoor <laughs> draw on a, on a board that hits all on a board that hits everyone right. all the time. Right. And, and he's not even willing to barrel. Like, if you're going to bet there, you kind of have to be willing to barrel because there's no good Ooh. turn card for you. And you're getting called all the time on the flop. And yeah, he, I think he's going to get called here in the river. Wow, it's kind of a big bet. He snap bet 2,000 into 2,900. He snap bet, like, two-thirds of the pot of the river. He did it very fast, too. And, like, he's doing that intentionally, obviously. Because he's trying to come off, as, you know. He does a lot of this reverse psychology stuff. Uh. I mean, Cause usually, usually that's weak, and he's like trying to be strong by pretending to be weak, kind of thing. But now you'll notice he's really quiet when he's bluffing. But he yeah, got called. Yeah. So sick. I made seven three of clubs. <laughs> I'll tell you what, he's, <laughs> he's getting. I mean, he's just now he's Qualified starting to sure really yeah. oil and groove. Would have been nervy on the, on the, on the I, turn. That's the first big bluff he's made on the river, I think, isn't it? Bluff relative to the pot size, but yeah. yeah. Want to do a straddle one time? 200 promotion? I'll do 400. Yeah. Come on, let's do it for the people. For the let's people. do it for the people. I'll pay. Sure. I'll pay you 100. Sure. I'll pay you 100. Come on. I'm surprised let's do it, it for works. Fun. Come on, let's play some pots. Don't yeah, you think it was fun. just his. Money. His, 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 his psychology, people. like. It's all about he, pros I guess he. That's where all the. He is a, you know, perhaps a. You know, a sociological expert. Right you know, time, he really he understands his opponents, and, and like I guess he's able to just um, level people in a lot of spots. He, he's able to get people to do what he wants. You just have to make by, money. By talking <laughs> stuff like that. Right, I mean, you I call like it I'm sociological. Struggling. I think this is one of the worst performances. Probably, <laughs> this is the least amount of <laughs> in the big game ever. I love it. Believe me, it's not over yet. I'm the biggest winner of all time in the big game. It's true. That's, that's the truth. Who's the biggest loser if he's the biggest winner? I don't even have time for poker, like all these guys. Like well, and, oh boy, know, there's so many that, uh, just that there's so many honor. big losers. Yeah. But it's no longer fun when the bunny's got the gun. <laughs> <laughs> that's mine. Yeah, yeah just take it. it. Uh, Phil Helmuth has never won he's in the big game. The Devilfish has never, pain. ever won in the big game over several seasons. For me, it's pleasure. More recently, I guess. <laughs> How Jen Tilly do? She's played the big game. She was the, win the biggest winner the biggest two winner. years ago oh, in, yeah. in in London. She won. Uh, I can't she was the second biggest winner. She won nearly 100,000 pounds. And she we'll played uh, 30 sure. hours second to, second to straight. Tony G. Yeah, yeah, she played 30 yeah. hours straight. I need to qualify here. <laughs> uh, Viffer lost a lot of money one year. Sam Trickett, I think, uh, lost quite a bit of money and, one and Jungle year. Jungle Man lost a lot last year. Uh, uh, Luke Schwartz, I don't think, has ever won. Yeah, Jungle Man lost a lot of money. And, all, and everyone you're naming are, are, are some of the best players in the world. Right, and Tony's hammered them all. <laughs> That's a pretty dangerous flop, like, right? I mean, you don't, you don't want to see that. Team Jack. You know, I think that's going to I really enjoy your show. For sure. Have to say, hey, Alpha. Think about it. Are you a commission, Mehdi? So you saved 400. That's good. That's smart. 17 for you. That's Commercial. You, you took some money out, right? All right. I try one card. And then most likely, if it doesn't come good, I'm going to get rid of it. Tony, by the way, was lecturing Concepcion on the flop about how, how wet of a board it was, and you don't want to bet it. Brilliant. Of course, Concepcion flopped top two. 4,000. 4,000. Tony did check call a street with deuces on 10 oh, jack. Oh, he did check call there. He does have some kind of voodoo, though, Tony, doesn't he? I mean, it just seems like it. All right, he's in position, but regardless, he has to give up deuces at this point. I mean, I've missed a bunch of the action here. I don't even, I don't even know where Tony is right now in this band. <laughs> what is he thinking about? My like conception has had it every time he's made a big bet this entire evening. If you had Ice King, you'd be giving it up, wouldn't you? You wouldn't be like putting. 
Now he's falling. Yeah, he's for sure like falling. He's yeah. chasing. Yeah. You have the heart. He's giving away too much. Going with it. Ice queen. Ice king. I don't think so. I don't think you'd have the heart. <laughs> I'll lay down a pair for you. Fuck. I'm glad you did. I lay down a pair. I had a pocket pair all the way. Pre flop, post flop. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't qualify anymore. I had the plumber's pair. The plumber, you know, the plumbers. So that they don't have big pairs. They have small pairs. Plumbers. The plumber. Plumber. It's like repairing the toilet somewhere. <laughs> The plumber's pair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my English is just awful. I know, but you, you're going to improve with me. Yeah, you yeah. play with me. <laughs> you're like, you have an English teacher. That's really funny. I'm serious. <laughs> I've never heard that before, the plumber's no. pair. I mean, yeah, I, I had a pair that the plumbers play with. You want it again? <laughs> <laughs> what is he talking about? I had a pair that the plumbers play with. You know, like really small pairs that no one's saying it's worried about. Worthy. Worthy. Uh, oh, is that what he's saying? Fun, fun. Since I straddled, I so was not obliged it, to keep Is that a dig it for us? <laughs> From the toilet out? To see yeah, if, that, the, that, if that the plumbing is opened up. Name. His online screen name is Toilet? Yeah, the, the toilet. The, the toilet O. Oh. That's brilliant. <laughs> Pedro's been quiet. Oh, he really has. Easy come, easy go. Don't you just get the feeling though that he's gonna like just sort of sit there like a lump for about four hours and then just explode and just spin, just Man. get all his chips in one hand? I love those. That's I love that kind of game. I hope <laughs> that's how it goes anyway. That's how I usually play. It's an aggressive race, a frustrating race. <laughs> well, yeah. Tony just picked up something interesting. He goes, "That's an aggressive race, a frustrated, said a frustrated race from Pedro." He shouldn't say that. And he's right. Yeah, but a, what a, a very good observation. It's good because some guys take so much time. And I take more time because I'm getting older. When I was young, I was the same. Just subconscious mind, you just go with it. It's the best. But now you become more analytical, more you have more fears. You start thinking more. <laughs> He's just just ripping Pedro to shreds here. He's this is I think this is Tony's best sort of needles where he talks philosophy and just actually is ripping someone up i mean it's like and he has a hand too so he's yeah. he's gonna be in this qualifying pot again. So. 400 450 right. she keeps qualifying me qualify me post flop one time can't you just see tony flopping a set here <laughs> and because of I his talk i hope he does I hope, it, I hope it comes king six four but it doesn't I have just, to <laughs> I, I think he, i think the way he's talking now he can bust pedro no matter what the fuck. He's willing to set right here. Uh, yep, oh my God. <laughs> I, don't know what I'm I don't think Pedro. I think Pedro can get the money in here against Tony. With King Six on his sure. board. Sure. You, you know what Tony has just called him? Has just said you're too old to think fast. He's just said that to him. And then flops middle set. And I, he'll be so scared of that flop, he'll never bet it. So I'm not <laughs> gonna bet your hand for you. <laughs> Look what he's doing right Tell now. Me. That's being kind, right? Because I know you won't like to bet Jack's there because it's so, so risky. <laughs> I think everybody else at the table probably realizes that he's strong. I don't Pedro know. Might not. <laughs> I don't know. Pedro may no, heal here. He's spreading the fold up. He really doesn't have much. He doesn't even have a backdoor draw. It's one over. If you got like Jack's or higher, you're still good, by the way. I if mean, you've got a multi way. I mean, people criticize Tony G because with. he does like math, he makes mathematical mistakes, but. He, if he's able to talk Jack people into doing what he wants to, that is so much more valuable than like course, marginal yeah. math spots. Like exactly, people, and people don't realize that. And if he peels and binks a king on the turn, he called right. Yeah. Yeah. I knew he was gonna call. Oh no, he's passed. Oh, I thought he called. Wow. Oh. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Well, he's no, he's never calling that's here. That's the end of it. That's the yeah. end of this end. This guy. Uh, Tony's gonna feel really uh Especially after he just made Tony fold with the pair before when he had it. He's not making a play right here just based on the game flow, I think. He's thinking about it, he's like he's waiting for his like one play to make, but this just isn't the spot. Boy, Tony no pair, no draw. You know, I mean oh, look at this. Wow. You stayed quiet there, huh? You stayed quiet. <laughs> I want to swap hands with you. <laughs> you want to swap <laughs> hands? You're gonna hold on. I like your hands out here. I don't know. He got action from the all other guy. Does he even have a plan? Do you think? <laughs> he... No, he's got a wheel draw. But how do you fold now when you had nothing? You yeah. picked him a straight draw. 
Still got a bad if you check. I'm gonna be weak. I'm gonna definitely check Basic the river. Basically bet the pot. I think he's tanked too long, yeah. He needs to pull. I'm going to pull this time. Good fault. <coughs> nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. I just set. Then high, maybe? Juices? Fours. Fours. Add a four. He hasn't been lying about his hands ever either. If you want to bet, I'll bet. Whatever you want on it. Oh, didn't you think he was going to get on there? I don't know why. Is it, is it just hope? I mean, that, that, didn't you think Tony was just going to get on full there? Stack someone? Fun. Yeah. Race 300. And this is still a pretty good game, right? I mean... I'm not sure if you remember the very first hand of big game last year when Tony sat down in the game. He blind raised to 5,000. It folded to Alec Torelli's big blind and Alex had a king seven offsuit and went all in. It thought about it for a while, went all in and Tony folded with like 10 or 15 behind and he had eight three offsuit after getting like a really good price and then just starts berating Al, you know, <laughs> telling him, you know, I don't you know remember. you're a disgrace. He gave the same kind of speech that he gave to Toby Lewis, <laughs> calling him disgrace. Hey, you like, I put out the five there. You, you, you don't play friendly. You're, you know, just <laughs> really? another qualifier. Five, Doesn't take much though. That was the very first hand Tony sat down last year. So Torelli's back for revenge then, or vice versa. Check. Check. This is a funny sort of pot. Pedro's gotten involved somehow. Uh, he's, he's not in the blinds. He swapped open-ended too. Do you think this could be Pedro unraveling a little bit? I just I, I don't see him raising with draws like this. I see him kind of just kind of flatting here. I just kind of see him paying to try to make a hand. Call. And then once Call. he does make the hand, he's going to make like some absurd raise and get no value out of it. Astat's got nothing either. We got a cut shot. But he was the better and, at least. And he got there. <laughs> Pedro, Pedro has a pair of fives with his, <laughs> his trade draw. And he made a gutter. So. Yeah, but I think it's just he's going to it's going to bet and Pedro's going to fold. Pedro might call. Pedro. Check. Mm. check. I mean, Pedro's always going to check back. I, I probably would have bet there. Because I don't think this guy is making stabs at it. Yeah. Like even two pair, he's, I mean, he's checking back there. Probably even sets. He might get looked up here. I, I don't think In, so. Well, uh, that's too big of a bet. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't think there's any chance that he's getting called here. Uh, no way. What do you think you're beating right now, Pedro? His check on the turn. Wow. See? That's a big call. Uh, I mean, he's a fish. I'm telling you. Called just he, it was like half a, it was a third, he had a 9,000 stack and just snapped off 3,000 on the river with a four card straight with like fourth pair. It was 3,000 the bet. Yeah. Wow. I just didn't expect that out of him. I'll tell you that much. I think Asted getting it too. Well, I think when Asted got called there, he was actually wasn't even sure if he was ahead. Um, thought there might be oh. chopping. Even there was a diamond yeah, on there the was river. A diamond, yeah. I mean, I, mean, well, I think Asted nearly like he turned white there for a second, didn't he? Nice. I mean, uh, well, once he calls the river, you think he probably has a small flush. Or yeah. No, he's probably seven. It's a big bet. Well, well no, but it was a flush. A uh, uh, flush got there on the river, right? From the yeah, but he yeah. would have at least considered raising if he had a flush. Well, that's why I said a small, a, a small flush. Yeah, but uh, no, but even a small yeah. flush, he would have he would have paused before right. maybe just right. calling before snapping. Yeah. Call. Right. Have a look at the scores. Uh, Pedro's actually slightly ahead. Tony G is only 500 euro off the mark. Yeah. The biggest winner. And you know what? It's a title he wants. Like, oh, absolutely. He's won it twice before. He wants it. Calling is good. Oh. It's fun because it gives everyone an opportunity to participate. Once you re-raise and make like an all-in play, it's not 
So Jock is open here for 300. And now we've got two flat callers for the K. And Jocko feels like he has aces right now. That's friendly. Meaning, Meaning he hasn't played a hand in a long time. And he, this is like the first semi-decent hand he's had. No, but King Queen plays horribly oh. against that top of the range. The Queens, Kings, 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 This is a hand that a lot of the time you're just going to raise fold to three bets because like when when your opponents have what they represent. He actually happens to be crushing all three of his Which is ridiculous. I mean, Torelli and Ankush have flatted for a K with nothing. All three. He's crushing all three of them, which is unbelievable. But, but I could see, I could see for us. I could also, I think he's going to fold a pile yeah, here. I think. Yeah, I agree. I don't think he's because all this like, money in the pot, he can't flat. He's thinking exactly really good. that. He's, he's got an interesting jam spot, doesn't he? I think he's. Oh, is he calling? I'm, I'm surprised. surprised. He, 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 he I guess he's trying to flop, you know, me. a king or a queen. And if he does, he's going to get he's, double. He's going to double. 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 How yeah. deep is he? Because I thought no, he only he's not had, deep at all. Right. Which, no, he's, he's only five k behind. He put in one k with fifty two hundred behind. I mean, you can only guess that he was just saying to himself he was so likely to see an ace king or ace queen back there. Torelli, Torelli gets it. Sure. Two gut shot, the same gut shot with the queen nine. A G has to fire here. One, one thousand. Gets out all the bad hands, and then I have a better chance to bluff. It's a really small bet. Yeah, it's a weird Anyone's call by Jocko with only five k behind. Find out, I, find I out where you are. Like make it three thousand. Find out where you are. Call. But this is the first Three, time four, we've seen guys. Out. Call three bets fight? that loose in a while. No shame in folding. I mean, I guess you. Torelli brought. How sweet would we have two Thank brothers you. there? I mean, they're, you know, King Jack suited Queen on two to their hands. You kind of like in the to bag. see flops with. And, and so. can't play. overcall here with, with a gut shot stretcher on the pad board, even though he wants to. He's got a backdoor no. flush draw on overcard, but it's, well, you know, it's just no, a gut. Yeah, he's, he's going to bowl. He can't do it. Now we can share the pot. We can share the spoils. Seven from heaven, it's arrived. Check. Thank God, three. Three thousand. Well, I actually thought Tony was going to check that back. Put a little bit of pressure. Uh, Tony's out of position, right? No, he's Just in position. Oh, he's on the button. Ace, Ace Jack so can keep going point. with it. Can you ever get a fold here out of bounds? I mean, his. Torelli's range is, is exactly pressure. what Tony uh, knows. It is. King Jack, yeah. Ace Jack, an eight, and maybe like a nine oh, ten. Nine ten just got there, and eight's never folding, and the Jack's never folding. So it is a very strange bet because I don't think anything in Torelli's range is really folding right here. And Torelli's kind of at the bottom of his range right now. With he King loves Jack. it, right? And he's <laughs> you still do, you probably going to fold. You love to play with me. I think. What's cool is Tony's kind of talking Bottom to him the same, go same way he talked to him when he had him with the push. Absolutely right. Put the whole thing in. I won't even look back at my cards. There you go. That's a fair deal. You go all in, I won't look back at my cards, here. I promise you. I think the bottom of Alex Trelli's range here is like Jack That's 10. a fair deal, right? Okay, now he might not, he's not believing yeah, in Now he's going to make yeah. me look. Yeah. And I think uh -oh. Tony's going to shut down the river if he doesn't hit. Don't you think Torelli is, hands? like, from Tony's mind, more likely to have, like, two like nines or two tens here? I mean... What, is, what if a ten comes the off? Same, it's pretty much the same hand. Nines and tens and an ace Ooh, jack are one. pretty much the same. And I, I expect with that card, Tony to shut down. I think Tony has to keep it up here. I, I, think, mean, he, I think he's going to shut down. He might, like, shove or something. Let's make he a knows that card didn't really change anything, and I think he gets the feeling that it isn't the right spot to push Torelli off. He's of getting it. called yeah. this time, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Look at Torelli. I think he shuts, Look I think at Torelli's Tony, face. I think Tony shuts down here. He's hang on all day right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not qualified. <laughs> You're gonna have a win. Well done, Ellie. You don't know, win. You will have a good win. Not qualified. To I had oppor here. opportunities. He did have a lot of chances to qualify against my hand. <laughs> I was a little nervous. It would, have taken, it would have taken heart, though, to bet again right there. To be honest, yeah. he could conceivably have been called by Torelli's King Jack suited. He would have been getting like two to one on the call. Yeah. About six but he would have been in really good, good shape. He would have been. Uh, <laughs> he still lost. Yeah, he would have lost. You're right. No, I know. But he, you know, he would have got it in really good. 
Wow, I'd actually probably want to jump in the quick. last 30 minutes if Tony is like so, uh, within reach, but down of the winning. Like if you were like 10K down of it, it'd be a great spot to jump in because I think he'll play particularly loose. It's a great point. I don't need and to I do think it. you're right. Race I think he'd be, like, if there was one hand to go and he was down 8K, I think oh. he'd just be willing to run it for 8K. I actually think he's doing that a little bit now. I think he started early, don't you think he's really How much time him? do we have left? Yeah. It's hard to uh, really, I, guess you done. I don't even know what day What's it is, What time Scott? is it? I have no idea. I couldn't even tell well, you. It's 1.30. Okay. Wow. Okay. I, I, I was off by at least two hours in my head. Yeah. You thought it was 3.30 or you no, thought it was 11.30? Yeah, <laughs> I had no idea it was this late. Um, so annoying when there's five I would have he's got an hour and a half. Uh, yeah, he's got plenty of time to get in. You know, you ten, to, you just he probably doesn't know where more. he stands though at this point in terms but of who's up, how much. Willing. You're right. So you got to have a lot more heart. Because <laughs> they're also the worried that there's a bigger hand out there too. Yeah. So it works both ways. It's yeah, not just there's a balance. Have to have yeah. Yeah, there's always a balance. The more players they play, the more they want to have a bigger hand too. They're not happy with one pair. The problem is that these two guys with a hand, they just always have it. You know. Pre-flop, they usually have yeah. something good, but then things change. <laughs> it's hard to qualify after five. They five. get nervy. Yeah, hold on. We all want to find that ace of Major clubs to give us safety and comfort. <laughs> it's pretty good flop. It's for hard to have it. At least two black cards. Sweet. Sweet. And it's uh. Two Sweet. black cards would be comfort. It's Torelli who's the button in this spot, so. He could just take the free card. I mean, and it's, it's three clubs in terms of Concepcion's hand. Um, open hand straight draw, but it's just the jack high flush draw. And he, he does have the best hand with the jack of club. It has arrived. Which I don't I expect don't him to bet here. Nah. Right. Check on here. <laughs> this is going to get checked around <laughs> like yeah, until I, someone bluffs. I, agree, I, I agree. Not for myself. I think it's going to get checked around the tournament. <laughs> for the people at home. Are you really yeah, betting here, Tony? Tony's to trying to, to he's bluffing here. That, but I mean, he's bluffing here with a five of clubs. Yeah. So it doesn't make any sense. He's never getting a bigger club to fold, and I don't think a smaller club is going to call. I, I, I don't. That's I like strange his bet. A lot. <laughs> 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 is he going to get Pedro's really 10 like nine to call yeah. here? That's a question. Brilliant. I really was going to he is going to get Concepcion's jack. I really like it. I really honestly have two out. black cards and I have one he ace. He folded. He folded the jack of clubs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I swear good. to God. And he might get two pair of clubs. It was 400 to 20 to 2,000. And he got two pair of two pair of clubs. See, I have one ace and I have two black cards. I have a flush. Oh, he doesn't. He didn't know. No, he checked it. He knew he had a club. Five of them. What? That's what? He just see? folded the third nut yeah. club flush on a bet of 400, like in a, when he was getting like five to one. So it was it was a tiny bet. Board, that conception sick. No. That that two pair on. On. Tony will tell like Pedro what a good call it was. And you know you know how it works. That's kind of wasted two pairs because <laughs> you're gonna take it somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> two no. pairs is a nice hand, but now it's you're wasted. not gonna flop two pair again for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> you just wasted your two pair on that. <laughs> it's so disappointing. Yeah. It is kind of disappointing. You need to take them somewhere else. And like two nice pairs, not like two donkey yeah, pairs. Yeah, it gets like even worse. It just gets worse and worse. <laughs> two medium medium pairs. No one's got the butcher. Well, the butcher well. ride on a turn. He flopped two pairs. We kept it friendly. <laughs> <laughs> that was a strange hand. <laughs> it was. <laughs> There's a lot of strange hands. <laughs> he went for the full boat. <sighs> I, I was taking your money. I'm so, so sad. Nice little hand to have in the button, well, a pair of kings. Are you going to win? Yeah, yeah, I was winning you. And so when he called, I got scared. Oh. Are you just a 700? Yeah, he gave me protection. Is there a Zero double straddle? straddle? I think there's a double oh, straddle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tony G maybe double straddled it. I can't yeah, afford the Double straddle that These call. kind of hands. That's exactly it. Yeah. Tony G would have double straddle 200 and defend it. They call it. them the big right hands for lack. So i got to play those. The big category. It's not premium, but they're dangerous. <laughs> he's being very honest about that, and no. he's it. Uh, I think you got this one. <laughs> but I've got to try. Right, I I gotta oh. try. <laughs> I like your hand better, but I gotta keep trying here. <laughs> I think Asted's a little too clever to lose any more money in this Check. hand. What do you think? Check. Yeah. Check. I mean, yeah, he's always checking back that turn. Oh, it's just a question of if he pays off Tony on the river. Two thousand. Yeah, I mean, he could have had uh, Tony could have had ten jack or even like king nine and you know all these hands. But once he yeah. bets, once he bets river. 
Uh, it looks like he because he's not going to be bluffing here with Ten Jack probably. I'm just trying to call. I'm I'm looking good. <laughs> I feel that I win. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I think this is, I think, I'm really I think happy Aztec can fold though. here because yeah, the hands probably. Tony has there probably, do, most of the time, probably doesn't turn into bluff. <laughs> I'm happy to win either way. I'm not like, I'm not greedy. I'm happy to take the profit. Neither. No. It's a scary counter in the end. You gotta no. give me some, yeah, some credibility. I could have anything. Like Queen Jack, 6-7. Like you could have an ace. Ace? Ace 10? I could have ace 10. Ace 8? Two aces? No, I can't have two I'll give me 2,000. You're not gonna get 2,000. You're not gonna get it. Do a lot with that. Would you show Good pass. <laughs> Good <laughs> pass, <laughs> Austin. He's tough. I had it two red kings. Hard to fold. Two red kings? Yes, I did. Wow. Two red kings? Yeah. I should have kept quiet. You know, you just never know. I'm trying Good everything. Bet. If I kept quiet, maybe fold. We're back for more from Season 7 of the Party Poker Big Game here in Barcelona in just a moment. Welcome back. Our players are still battling it out for pots at the table for the big game. Let's get back down to the action. This is a game of a lot of wizards here. It's tough getting money out of wizards, isn't it? I mean. uh, and Torelli. Torelli's lit. Torelli's lit. And let's put everybody else. He's doing that with his entire range, it seems, early position. Yeah. Just because I have one lucky chip there. And no one really, not many people have that chip. Let me put it in for I you. I think this is the time Jaka is now going to jam with sevens. Because he has all these people behind him. Yeah, if he call, gets call, a bunch call, of callers, call, call, yeah. He's going to rip sevens. That's what's going to happen here. Yeah, if he has five. Yeah, there's too much money in the pot now. This, this was the like plan three, three from the start yeah. when you limp in for 100 with the sevens and on then, the button. And then get yeah. that from top. Once you get all, all these the callers little, out of position, yeah, you, he's going to be going all in. Get you low, you're being patient. Got a lot of respect from the mm. table. No, it's a nice time to Rip it. the tension. <laughs> Tony G probably calls with Ace Jack, to be oh, honest, no. but it's not wrong. You're all in? Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the plan okay, there. All in too. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Let's play a big pot. Wow. How about Tony? It's almost like he... It's yeah, almost like he knows the kind of hand Faraz is doing that with it. It's a small... Well, yeah, is that, well, is that not, true? He I mean, knows that Faraz's ra so range is pretty wide, and Ace-Jack well, plays reasonable first, enough I mean, versus uh, that range. It's a lot of pairs smaller than... Obviously yeah, smaller yeah. than the Jack. It's also like King-Queen and, you know... It's a nice... Flip. It's even like suited Aces that are, that are weaker <laughs> than Ace-Jack, Ace-10. Ace uh, you gotta love that. <laughs> I'm I mean, they're both happy with the spot. Yes, right, right. 11,000 in the pot. I wish 10, though. I mean, you want to swap hands? <laughs> Seven from heaven. Oops, the eight. Wow. The eights. And there was one seven going, so... Seven from heaven. Focus. Seven from heaven. Seven from heaven. I've done it so many times in blackjack. No, seven that's from hell. That's Come on, let's all think. I want the seven from heaven. Seven hell. from heaven. You want to run it five times? It'll come for sure. Eight times. <laughs> <laughs> you had a seven? Okay, so this, we can run it 20 oh, times. Oh, don't tell him you had a seven. <laughs> don't take it away from him. Give you something. Take Give you the bus fare home. It's the butcher of Baghdad's out. <laughs> seven of diamonds. Come on, seven and do it. <laughs> any, any seven on, of diamonds do will do it for, for, for us. Do it for the people at home. Oh. So close. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Bad luck. Timing. Bad luck. It was, it, was you guys. Fair, it was a fair run. It wasn't like I had aces, yeah. you know, and oh, made a flop like that. Yeah, it was fair. And with Thank that, only Tony G has not point. only knocked Faraz Jaka sideways, <laughs> I, I think he's taken like over the lead. Oh, he's going to be very like close the, right now. I think it'll be neck and neck. That's more the the tailor's hand, you know, like the tailor's play ace, ace jack more. Tony you know, G's up now $21,000. Okay, that's true. Yeah. So I'll tell you, Faraz Jack has taken the walk. He the has been hand. all entertainment, though, tonight. And he's, he's played some great poker. He just went card dead for like Big six blind. hours or so at the end. Big blind, yeah. yeah. Oh. 
And Faraz is leaving the game here now, first time here at the big game. What was the experience like for you? I mean, you got straddles, we got the deuce seven game, and we got Tony G. How do you think the game was? It was fun, it was a blast. Definitely would love to come back and play again. Had a ton of fun. What did you think about the play at the table, some of the players that you've been with kind of the whole evening? Uh, I mean, it kind of changed throughout. At the beginning, there was a, a little bit of hostility with the whole straddle situation, so I don't know, I was just kind of entertained the entire time. <laughs> well, I'm glad you were entertained. We were definitely entertained watching you, and we'd love to see you come back, so yeah, thank definitely. you. Thanks for having me. This sets up nice. Tony G has taken over. He's 22,000 ahead, but Ado still in there. 17,000 winner. Derwish has quit at 12K, while Concepcion still fighting 11K ahead. Things have changed on the losing side. Sekul Arach, 26,000 and go, that hurt. Toby Lewis lost 20K, and Torelli, a bit of a comeback. He's only down 17,000 now. It's still nice to eat. I ate two people today, Max the Pirate Pescatori, and this gentleman here. Two people where you take everything and they nice go home story. free. <laughs> without, the stress, without the stress of having money on them. <laughs> They're free. Isn't it amazing what we're watching here, Korea. though? Tony has, he's like one of those racehorses that just starts to, yeah, you know, now he's on the last lap. You open up the world, he's, you open up the thinking. Call to 50. I mean, he just, he looks like Father Christmas there. I mean, he's Look just at all gonna, those chips he's got now. I know. With one hand, I was going to really 60, fall over uh, 61,000 stack, which covers the table. This amount. Check that out. And it's not like a play, it's like a, Alec a is, oh no, hand, Alec is just, he's, he's st his stack is still there, but he's not present. But it does, his 60, 61,000 actually does cover the rest of the, the, the four other opponents seated. Yeah, now he's just, Dude, he's... Make it 3,000 to test your strength of your hand. And now he's, he's got some, what we <laughs> call, talking chips. <laughs> right, now he's just pushing them around for fun. Come on, it's worth it. It's worth it just because it's me. Just because it's you. It's worth it just for the fun. You know, and, and Conception has been waiting bit. to play a big pot with Tony. I'm so confident, I'm going <laughs> to qualify. Wow. How much does he bet? Is that two grand? I think he's bet 2,000 in the dark. It's a disappointing flop, but I'm going to take it. Yes, it is. I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to commit to my bet. With 10 deuce. I'm just going to have to, King Queens are going to have to fold. What a you can test your hand, make it 6,000. You find out where you are. Ah, uh, yeah. I like this. That's fair. I don't know what he's thinking of. I mean, okay. it just sucks, do but it, you just, there's nothing you really do about it at this point. Just, just, Ace, for fun. just fold, fold oh, really? the king queen here. Oh, uh, yeah. I had a good hand free. Okay. Then what can I have on there, right, Warren? Warren, where's my drinks? You're not keeping them coming. I'm getting mine coming in. No, You're not allowed to drink. You're going to get fired. <laughs> As soon as you have one drink, it's going to be the last drink you're going to have. Oh. He's not just good, he's great. I, I, I mean, so. he's like Tony the Tiger now, isn't he? Yeah, you, you, you can see the, 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 the change in his attitude now from 30 minutes all ago. I'm doing, I'm doing all of this I mean, that last pop, enjoy the show. that was just poker. feel my rage. I'm Tony bring G. Bring back the old timers like me and have fun with the game. And so these nits, you know, merging hands, playing three, four bets, and like making raising the min. Show commitment. I know what they're doing, you know. I know what they're thinking. I've thought of everything they have. It, don't I you have feel like everybody at this table is kind of punch drunk right now? They're yeah. ready to get pushed around. They're all little rag dolls. Well, right Tony's literally right. drunk. No, you're yeah. <laughs> drunk, <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> You're on 150,000 pounds. <laughs> you're so right. You are so right. Oh, mate, you, and you've got the Tony Resort open. And it works for him. To your pillaging. <laughs> <laughs> right, he's been you know trying have, all night to get the other players drunk, but really, drinks. he you just wanted to get himself drunk because he knows how powerful he and is. And now, I don't know even that like, you should never drink on the job. And where's your tie? Where's your tie? <laughs> Lecture. Well, okay, I came and stayed at Listening to Lecture <laughs> Warren is priceless. <laughs> yeah, but someone has to protect you. <laughs> I gave you a room next to my room. <laughs> yeah, everyone's protecting you, Warren. Yeah, it's like playing on the house. No. No, he just flops danger. up four house against No him. danger. Wow. wow. <laughs> I don't even have an ace. There you go. I don't have an ace. Especially in the... And he's saying, I don't have an ace. <laughs> I, I guarantee it. 
But I mean, I don't have like, an ice water. it's I almost like a, he's telling him he's got sex is full when he check raises, says he doesn't have an ace, and yeah. then gets it in. And but it doesn't matter. I mean, you can't get. I mean, he's never getting away from ace eight here, just dynamic wise too. Yeah, he's check raising, hoping he has an ace to get it in. Do something crazy. What's that? <laughs> I mean, now you got an ace now, but is the kicker good? Doesn't oh, my oh, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> now he. <laughs> this is so sick. <laughs> Imagine they were deeper. <laughs> oh, Anchorage really? only has ten thousand. What do you do? He's gonna play with him like chop, just chop. like this they is the cat that's well, got the Tony, <laughs> Tony, you know, he knows. He's gonna he knows call. He yeah. He's gonna flat. Anchorage is gonna flat, and then I'm Tony's gonna go all in over bet the river. He's just gonna rip river. I'm going to go all in on the river, no matter what happens. There you go. That way I'm An ace on the river would be sick. Oh, so he's bet, he's he's bet, bet all in, in the, the dark. dark. Oh, and that's... Oh, you got to beat four sixes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to yeah, beat four sixes. Can you beat four sixes? Wow. All right, fold your hand. <laughs> fold it, fold it, get rid of it. Get rid of it, I'm not lying. Come on. Do you trust me? Fold it. Please, for me. He's getting a <laughs> semi <laughs> weird what a needle. He just he can't do it. What do you think? I'm not bluffing. I'm not a supplier. <laughs> wow. What a magic card. And Kush, just the latest in a long line. line. He's, he's rebuying. He's reaching back in his oh, pocket sure. there. I told you you have a dice, right? I told you all the way where we were. <laughs> we always knew where we were. And it's like that hand you can write your mother and say, look, you know, I ran into four sixes. I had aces full. Happened to me in uh, Rosvadov. I swear. On a turn, I make aces full. I lose a million euro pot. And it's easy to do it. Anyone can try. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. The big game in Barcelona continues after the break as our first stop for season seven draws to an end. Welcome back to the Party Poker Big Game. We are well into the night in this 12-hour continuous cash game coming to you from the Casino Barcelona in the Mediterranean capital. Let's head back into the action. <laughs> Mike, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. There you go, Warren. Now you're the real assistant. Now you're finally doing a £150,000 a year job. After tax, you're a disgrace for the salary you take from me. Everyone is a disgrace. You don't deserve anywhere near you, Mike. Go and hide. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Ten oh. years has been on my. I know it sounds like a lot of money, but to and be abused by Tony G, I wouldn't even flinch at that price. Like I mean, that's. Yeah, I don't yeah, think oh, that's it's worth that. every bit of ten k. Nah. No. <laughs> uh, come on, come and play. There's a seat open. I'll put you in. I'll give you a chance. <laughs> I'm gonna cancel your credit card, Warren. I swear to God, I'm gonna cancel your credit card. Isn't it just weird? And where's the checkbook? Did you bring the checkbook? Oh, no, I'm looking for the white. Four players. I'm, I'm running out. If I run out of my drink, <laughs> that's the last drink I'm and you're going to have. Don't make me run out. <laughs> I'm sure Terrell will run to the bar to get it for How many qualifiers? Check, check. <laughs> I think he's eyeing the ace. Look, all I'm going to do is test, Six test the strength of my hand. I'm not, it's not really eight a raise. folded two eights. Just testing the strength. It's Amazing. What, what is going I'm on? I'm ready to play like a really, really big pot. I don't know. It's, I mean, it's entirely possible that uh, Edo has just decided he's, he wants he's to lock it up. It up. Yeah. Then why, why, why even stay if you're just going to open God, fold two eights? I'm going to show you. Well, you get a, a ringside seat for the it's show. It's a nice yeah, hand, but it's like it's one you don't know where you are. Oh, so Conception's actually led at this for 600, and Tony raised it. Time left. Look, it's a pretty clever time. raise. Play some more hands. Come Think quick. You see, and that's, that's being honest, because it's the kicker. I'm confident with the butcher, but I'm worried about the kicker. And I was right. You probably had a better kicker. <laughs> probably. Yeah. Tony yeah, is yeah. just crushing Brilliant. everybody right now. Bring me more. <laughs> And he's Any feeling Russians good, in the he's house, talking, bring me some he's, Russians to play everything's with. going right for him. Right, I'm going to make it 200. 
I mean, I have to admit, Scott, I can't believe there's anybody Wait, right now crazy enough to want to take gonna, on Tony like, G tonight. I'm, I'm playing, playing and nobody, pay. nobody really wants to play back at him either. Right. You're the most They're all thinking, I'm just trying to wait for a hand, and then when they do, he just gets away from it. I saw the application. I saw the application you did, Warren. It's, it's, it's beyond, like, it's, it's disgraceful. I'm going to send you to rehab again for the fifth time in your career. It's your last chance. They look like six guys that are just waiting to give yes. him money. I built a resort for you just so I could have a, re a rehab resort. <laughs> <laughs> he made me, and now he made me put a zoo in it. I ordered like Torelli has opened up for 500. Yeah, we, we've built a zoo. We built a whole zoo, and all the animals are arriving from all over the world. Everyone's a winner here in Barcelona. Sit down. There's one seat open. I'm giving value every hand. I'm like a slot machine. You put money in and I'm always playing with you. Very Just nice. got to see how much you win. Two thousand three hundred. Sit down, jump in. Well, it's warm. I think this game has entered a new dimension yes, here, Yes, it Scott. has. <laughs> and Zepcion has put in the re-raise with King Jack offsuit. Just take it. Just come, and come here, sit down. Take when it gets back to Pedro, it. Pedro only has 4,500. Uh, he's that's just going to have to go with his hand. I don't know what he will do, but uh, like, take it, take it, take it. he's supposed to go with his hand at this point. This is actually, about. for Concepcion, who had started off the game quite snug, I mean, this is a fairly uh, weak holding to put put the money in with. Yeah, it, it is pretty strange. And it, I don't know. And Pe I wonder if Pedro understands that he's supposed to go all in here. So he only has 4,500 chips. Oh. Yes, yeah, especially now. There's even more money in the pot. It's a better squeeze opportunity. I think he probably has to realize that. I think he, yeah, I think he's pushing his chips in. It's on fire. Yeah, they're going in. Did he just call? Oh, God. I'm going mad. I've struggled all He just called 1,800, leaving himself like, he's leaving himself 20, he's exactly 2,700 behind. Um, he called 2,300 with 2,700 behind, just trying to spike something and then fold if he misses or something, and then he doesn't get the value. Yeah, I mean, Aztec's I mean, made a pretty broad call. It happens to be the King Jack is now going to call him anyway, but if, if he Jan Prey, they both would have called him. And then the King Jack obviously is going to call here because it's like he's getting a billion to one, uh, and then the 8 is going to fold. Wow. I mean, I, I don't know. That's surprising. You bet like 2,700 to 10,000 all in on, on, a, on a wet board, even though it's. I don't know. I, I think you just have to call with Jack at that point. It's the Twilight Zone down there, Scott. It's the Twilight Zone. It's not about the process. If I'm not mistaken, Scott, we are heading in to the last hour I'm, I'm, I'm a family of guy. the Party Poker Big Game 7. The home stretch. Do you think there's uh, any chance? Tony's I mean, up 35,000 and well in front of the, of the biggest winner. Do you think there's any chance He's he locks it down? He knows what's going to happen if he loses any money. Yes, <laughs> I do. I do. But I, I, I don't think it's going to be that simple because there's enough chips on this table for, for a couple people to make a run at them. He could clean everybody out. <laughs> Where are you there? Just one full swoop. Actually, he's having like too many us. gin and tonics to lock it yeah. down. Of course he's not going to lock it down. Oh. So now they told me he played one hand and then he was... Looks he like Pedro's really thinking about raising, but I find that a little surprising. Yeah. He just clearly... Do, I mean, every... I just feel like everything he's, he's doing is something on? I wouldn't no. do. I don't even. I, I can't even begin to guess what he's going to do. Yeah, he's raising. Yeah, I agree. I would just I would just lap behind the nines. Uh, how much is he raising? Seems like a lot. <laughs> whatever, whatever it was. Seems like I over a thousand. Five out. Didn't have to put so much. Are you going to do thousand fifty? It wasn't wasn't too too much at all. I will, but it's not the right uh, time. But Astrid's definitely gonna call. It's not the right time. But I just want to um, play for the home viewer. See, like Anjin oh, called with the with the, with the queen six, but I think calling with the queen jack here is obviously fine. Uh, and there, he's he's much deeper as well now. Pedro has a hundred big blinds here. This is for the home viewer. And queen jack suited plays a lot better. So Alec could test his hand here and make it like 4,000. Alec, Alec is thinking about cold calling with, with Ace-2 suited, but he obviously doesn't want to get call and then get squeezed out by Astid. Eleven. Yeah, Tony's opened the party up by... I think Torelli's going to fold, be because even together. though he really he wants to play with this guy, he realizes it's 10% of his hmm. stack and he's out of position. Uh, and ah. so he's probably gonna, yep, so he's just tending to fold, then Kush also gonna fold. Right. I, should, I should do it. Yeah. 
as it's gonna call Sweden. here. Sweden, open-minded. Just two hours left. Yeah, look, we've got two hours left. We've got to make a show here. Yeah. You know? yeah. There's the home viewer that wants to, wants to play as well. I showed him how to do it. Jack 3 is a, is a good starting hand against Aces. <laughs> it's a good finishing hand too. He's right. And if it comes Queen's queen folded, 4. You know what? I forgot what I have, so I'm going to check. That's a, that's a nice I little forgot. flop Honestly, for us to get some action here. 1500. It feels like you have queens or kings or something like that. Like, you wish you flopped a set, but uh, didn't see, quite flop a set. Yeah. You know? Page about 1500, which is actually a very reasonable bet with that, okay. with that hand. You. There you go. Uh, it's I, I expect right? Astrid to peel here. Cash it. Don't cash it on. Don't spend it all at once. Put it in a savings plan. <laughs> Tony's actually just getting everything so spot on. He basically called Pedro's hand here. And, uh, yeah, Astrid's actually shot. got a lot of outs. The sick lay down Wait, I made. What did he say in regards to Pedro's hand? Made. He said, it feels like you've got a big pair, but you missed your set. <laughs> he, should, he really shouldn't be saying things like that. And getting, you know, there's other people in the pot. I know. But it, it just seems all right here in the big game, doesn't it? <laughs> And it was a lucky call. I would call it a very lucky call. Wow, this call. is this is, and he's betting again, not big. I'm, I'm not. Sure. I wonder if he thinks he's betting it as a bluff again. or uh, uh, like you know, what he's really doing here. It's, it's pretty hard to interpret with him. Race. Uh, uh, this is gonna work. This is a great race. This is a really great race, especially who you're up against. I guess he's because the bet was so small in the turn. He's he's sensing weakness yeah. in it. Um, it'd be unfortunate if it was if he's taking something that Tony has to heart and saying, you know, maybe he's got jacks or queens or nines or sevens in this spot. Um, but pa nonetheless, Pedro's not going to be able to stand this all-in pressure here. Yeah. You know, that's probably six outs in his mind. Oh. It down. Great, great play by Aston. For the viewers. Well, he has, he has 12 oh, outs. Oh, no. Multi-combination. Let's see the river, please. The river. And Aston showed it. I needed a full That's going to get Pedro Queen angry. Let's see, the, let's see the river. He showed the bluff. Yeah. Wow. The guy only has 5,000 wow. left. I didn't <laughs> want to see that. It's <laughs> all I How was so happy to feel that? Uh, they obviously you got there. Right. They obviously got there on the river when they they, they rabbit hunted. Complete and asked they would have made his hand. You Looks know, like Pedro's had enough. Oh, He's tired got, of the freight old train old. that is uh, Tony G. And the shakeup has come. Look at this, Tony G sitting on a 75,000 stack, over 34K, that is profit. Ado's up 17K, and Alec Torelli propping up the bottom of the board, losing over 19,000. Who's up and who's down as time runs out here at the big game? We're back to Casino Barcelona for more action after the break. Welcome back to the big game in Barcelona. Our first stop for season seven is drawing to a close as the clock counts up to 12 hours played. There's only a little bit of time remaining for our players to make their move. No, no, it, like I posted 200 to enter the game. Because yes, I know, blind. I know you did. Yeah. So you can't, you can't just decide not to do it, you know? Torelli's saying that they've actually changed, that's what you were saying, they've actually changed the rules of this Wait. game to make it three blinds. Uh, and if that's it? true, like huh? No, I'm not angry. It's just like right, if he thinks like you can come in with a short stack and white faces and get it all in and double up with me, then he's right. When you come in with a short stack, though, you can't like then also not pay the straddle and then just pay effectively half the amount in blinds while waiting for spots to squeeze. That's just it's you know. Um, look and smell like a second. You know, it's, you know, not. Well, I mean, it may be considered it's, not in the spirit of the game, the but yeah. the question is, is it against the rules? And you know what? I mean, like certainly I everybody at the table. Like twice what you know. Know. I'm not gonna I know what you know. mean, but I mean, you shouldn't do it. And if you're uncomfortable with the stakes of the game, then you shouldn't play. Is how I feel about it. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, I think if anybody is crazy enough to want to sit down to the right of Tony with a short stack right now, <laughs> they can do whatever the heck they want. <laughs> I can't but I hear you. I hear you. And, and it is a... Uh, 
It is something that people who play a lot of live cash, they understand those sort of unspoken rules, or they, like like yourself, you know, because uh, you see those situations all the time. You see right. them both ways and that sort of thing. Um, but poker's I mean, a funny game. Uh, my, I, my, my view of it is, like, the answer is pretty simple. If you're the only dissenter, like... I, you shouldn't just say, well, it's like technically it's the rule. It's then, you know, if you don't want to play, then don't play. Everyone else is playing. I think you should kind of just. If you're the only person, you should probably go along with it. I agree with you. I, I, I think cash games are a place where uh, where majority should them? usually. Yeah. Uh, usually at the very least, super majority. Yeah. Yeah, super majority. But. I always admire someone's right to be to be the thorn in, in everyone else's side because it just makes for such great action, <laughs> you know, when the nerves get jangling. Oh. Well, Torelli missed oh, a flush. Angus finally yeah. has the best hand. Yeah. Will Will Torelli stab at it though? I guess he's trying to figure out what he can, what can he get Ankush to fold. He, he knows the same he, hand. Yeah, he's, really. he's really wondering if he, he knows he's not going to be able to get Ankush to fold the ten there, and he's wondering how often does he have the ten. Um, he's probably oh, he's, he's gonna he's gonna go for it. Ankush is not gonna fold. It's he's not gonna fold. The way the bet size is doesn't it, it feel more like value? It does, but two thousand thirty four hundred. But like. Terrell is a very sophisticated player. You're going to make your bets look like value. I mean, that, that's a very clean run out for, for uh, top pair on the flop. Sure. Flush didn't get there. Dead set. Ankush, yeah. for the right reasons, has made the call. And it's one of the first pots of significance he's won forever. Yeah, I mean, it's the biggest pot he's won anyway. Maybe you'll feel a little bit better about losing with those aces full. How much you win? And Tony's needling him. Yeah, I got to. Cool. You play? No. Can you repeat this? I don't know. Wait, is Ankush the kind of guy who's going to laugh at this when it's all over? The fact that Tony G made four, six quads on him when uh, he had the yeah, pullouts? Yeah, I, I would think so. <laughs> So this is the first time Sebastian has stuck chips in the pot. And I mean, Ankush is aware of this. It and I know it only takes queens. Right, look, Ankush has two <laughs> eights. I mean, flat. right, and, and, and he's probably playing fit or fold here. I mean, he's, he's no fool, is he? I mean, he he's actually aware that he could be up against something super here. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I mean, he also win. knows we the dynamic of what, definitely what Sebastian is is trying to do, which is short stack it, and so he's waiting for premium hands to, to to see flops and uh, see flops and get in his entire stack of value hands. Let's see. He's not messing around. No. Well, first of all, we'll see if the flop. But the bet's still small enough where you can flat 300 with pocket eights and just try to flop a set and, and take his because he will stack him if he is able to flop a set. Yeah, he's always doing. Ask Yanni, he knows. But with seven eight of spades, <laughs> in Aston's hand, uh, it's going to be hard. Profit. Enjoy the money. You check, check. yeah. It's probably a check around. You can't play I don't, I don't, I don't see. That's a really interesting bet. Yep. A couple more hands. I think it's going to work. For, for only 400, he should see a turn here, but I'm not sure he will. Yeah, will need. Nope. And it's going to work. It's a good bet. Interesting that uh, yeah, so I guess it's easier for Ankush yeah, here. It's much easier for Ankush to call, uh, but nonetheless, he still did call with a uh, a weaker hand than uh, Sebastian folded. Wow. And I mean, uh, let's check check on the river. Right, and uh, Astet's he's he's still managing to kind of represent an ace, isn't he? I wonder if he's can if he can. What about? I think he's gonna shut down here, because now all the pocket pairs are gonna call him. Okay. Yeah, yeah anchors are snap calling. Mm. 
how much is two hours? It's not folding. It really it looks like more. three aces. It's only 500. Thank you. No, it doesn't look like three aces to me. He's betting 500 into 2,000. What does it look like? It looks like maybe nines or tens, maybe. Maybe. Or a value bit bluff. It doesn't look like an ace to me. This is very small. I mean, he could even conceivably have sevens here. Value bet of four. Yeah, so he's asking, could he be value betting less? And I think he could be value betting sevens or sixes in this spot. This small. He's calling. I'll tell you, Sebastian's going to be a bit aggrieved. But Ankush has saw it. I, I think you guys are you, you're just in his head. You guys think the same uh, way, Scott. You're, you know exactly how he thinks. Yeah, I, th I probably have a pretty good understanding of that. Did you see? I had heart. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>
uh, now his lead here. If he leads here, it's entirely possible Torelli puts him on exactly aces or kings, like like like, like I said before, and he's just gonna raise for value, and it's gonna be a very weird when he gets three bet. <laughs> it's a weird spot for Torelli because the way the action has gone, it's really hard for Edo to have a full house. I think Halleck puts him on exactly aces or kings, but and he's gonna could play have a you. higher flush. I guess no. 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 Well, let's see how big the bet is. That, that, that's also, if he bets pot, Alec might just call. 48. But if he bets ha 48, it's an like, interesting kind of bet. I think that's small enough where I think Alec, I, I do expect a raise from Alec here. It would be a great, it would be great, it would be an impressive flat if if, if Alec just calls here. Because he's only worried about uh, exactly queens. But to be fair, that's like one of three hands he really has here. I mean, because I think Alec... His range has to be exactly queens, kings, and aces. All in. Call it. All in. He's gone all in. He's gotten snapped so off. There's the bad news. And I'll tell you what, Torelli, is, he's going to hit the door. I mean, he has just yeah, gotten crushed, clobbered, flattened. Here you go. Uh, that's just, yeah. that's just, and with this just pot, done. he's got to run at the, the biggest win of the, of oh, the right. game. He may have just overtaken <laughs> Tony G. <laughs> Tony's not going anywhere. That yeah, was yeah. the I worst run out kind of that Torelli could out. ever see. And you, 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 you can't blame him. I mean, it's just, it's been one catastrophe after a calamity. The yeah, big that, game is no friend to to Torelli. That is one sick, sick run out. That was a ridiculous call. And, and Ado's played it perfectly, in a sense, to, to, to get Torelli to hang himself. I mean, I mean it was just, the, the whole sequence was perfect yeah. for him. You know, the check call. The and he's definitely just won the biggest. Oh, yeah. This is the most he's ever won, I'm sure, uh, in his life. It's well, not real to him right now. I don't either. I don't know about that, but he, he is definitely about to be the big game champion. Alec came back in for another crack at the table. Unfortunately, it didn't quite go your way this time no. either. Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, yeah, I was doing well a lot of the session. Uh, I was up most of the time. Um, wasn't thrilled with how I played, to be honest. Unfortunate to lose a lot uh, at the end of the night and uh, and the end the day like this. But uh, yeah, it's fun all the same, and I'm, I'm really glad for the opportunity to play. It was it was fun to commentate, and uh, it was the riot. The game was really awesome. Um, aside from losing, everything was good. So you know. <laughs> so Ada, smile on his face. Yeah. yeah. He's been know, folding for four hours, just wolf. waiting waiting Is for that. Like <laughs> waiting to pick up the Is queen's full back? against a flush. A, ba a backdoor flush. That is just unlucky for Alec Torelli. Amazing, especially in the waiting moments here. Jesus is back in the magazine. Did you see? It's three more or two more? One more. Call 300. For the glory. For the glory. Call. Potential, potential for action. You know Mondavia wants something. I'd say that's potential for action. It's King for Tony and a nut flush draw for Sebastian. And a nut straight draw. I think he's, he's going to want to get his stack in here right at the end. No check to Ankush. Is this a good? No. He's not going to barrel that with an under pair with no diamond for two opponents. Tony's gonna flat. Call. And he's just gonna fold. Call. Yeah, Sebastian needs an ace, a jack, a queen. No, no jack. A diamond. An ace, queen, a diamond. And Pretty the much queen of diamonds for the nuts, but it's not gonna get anything from Tony. Everything. Looks like a royal flush. It's not. It's not far. He's thinking, I finally got him. I yeah, finally yeah, got Tony G. He's going to just rip. <laughs> yeah. He's going to get that in here. Taking too much time. <laughs> Been a great big game, and the accounting is in. Sergio Edo finishing up 40,815 euros ahead. So close was Tony G winning nearly 33K. Ima Derwish, a bit of a hit and run for 12K. Nicholas Asted winning 10,000. You are healthy, quick 6,000 and go. And Scott Baumstein won 5K.
Those with the holes in their pockets include Alec Torelli, 43,000 loser. The Serb Sekularic took a 26,000 hit. Toby Lewis lost 20K. And the Pirate Pescatori, 12,000 down. Faraz Jaka gave it a good run, but ended up losing 10,000. We're used to seeing Tony G do well here at the big game. He rode to the rescue in Nottingham, and you finished up in profit here again. So uh, tell us in your own words how it went. I went really good. I had I had some really bad patches at the start, and it was it was pretty tough. Tough. The whole thing was tough, but in the end I got on top. But disappointed. I didn't. I wasn't the biggest winner. I played for that title, and uh, I think it's the seventh, and I've probably been the biggest winner three times. And it would have been nice to be the biggest winner again today, but it didn't work out. Sergio is the big winner here for Barcelona's big game season seven. You won more than anyone else at the table. So uh, how did that happen for you? I think I was very lucky from the start because I, I win a nine seconds Queens and then I started to play. I play my game and I think it was OK everything. So I'm very happy. Day turn tonight in this 12 hour cash game. Famous faces grace the casino Barcelona. Alec Torelli once again, big loser in the big game. Tony G came so close, but local boy Sergio Edo is our biggest winner. Good night from Barcelona. Good night from the big game.